What's up, guys? Welcome back. Good morning, guys. Good evening, wherever you're watching this wonderful channel from. This is Jungle Entertainment. We give you only what is of all the trends and happenings in us in Nigeria, but globally. For those that are new here, make sure you do subscribe button and the bell icon so as to stay afloat with all the trends in the entertainment industry. Afrobeat is the next big thing. No doubt about that. We got this news recently that Bonaboy and Beyonce both booked a stadium tour in the Netherlands. And guess what? Same day, same night. But Bonaboy has sold out while Beyonce is here to sell out. Afrobeat is the new sound, no doubt about that. Congratulations to the Odogu itself. You know, Bonaboy told us he's the Odogu, the uh, 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 the giant of Africa, and so many netizens were criticizing him. But well, we've seen it. They say action speaks louder than words. Congratulations to the to the Odogu itself that he, that the African giant Bonaboy just sold out the 41,000 41, capacity. And him stadium in Netherlands, and he is the first international artist ever to do it. When a boy is really the Odogu himself, <laughs> that's a huge one. We'll see talking about the entertainers in Nigeria. From this picture, you can see Fireboy DML. We have Rema. Rema has been doing very well, especially with his song, his song Calm Down, the remix, especially the one he did with uh, um, Selena Gomez. We have on the list, we have Fireboy, Sensitella, we have Rema, we have Joe Boy, we have Ruga, we have Oslik, we have Omale, we have Zinuleski, we have Buju or BNX, and as I changed his name too, we have Lekon and Vic Tony. Right now, the question is pick your top three artists based on lyrics and performance. From these 10 names I just mentioned, please pick your top three artists and drop it on the comment section. Our entertainers have been doing very well. See, talking about Zinoleski, we got this good news that Adekulego and Zinoleski received their number one play for the number one single in Nigeria. Party no this top. Wow. By the way, have you listened to that track? It's a little one. Coming from Adekulego and Zinoleski. Congratulations to these guys. You guys have been winning Grammy. We really, you will win awards rather. We really hope you guys will come home with Grammys. Yes, we really want Afrobeats, that Afrobeats category to be in the Grammy so that our artists, our top musicians will be coming home with Grammy Awards because the Grammy is regarded as the best awards when it comes to entertainers and we have so many entertainers in Nigeria. But mind you, the entertainment industry is competitive and it's expensive, very, very expensive. We got this news from the desk of Inaya. He said the cheapest he actually dropped a message a few days ago and some people asked him questions and he now replied. Let me drop, let me read the message he dropped three days ago. He said, promoting music has become very expensive. If you are lucky to get a song go viral, make you thank God. <laughs> thank you for your desk of yeah, yeah. And when some people asked him question, he dropped this message that the cheapest I have spent on a song since January 2021 is 27 million. Like seriously? When I drop like you know the song he did with the video and, and kiss that, that that we spent forty two million that we spent forty two million for the song video and the promotion sorry fifty two million rather that we spent fifty two million for the song video and promotion that this should not discourage any up and coming artists you can do it all you need is consistency wow. The entertainment industry is competitive and you have to be consistent and it's expensive. Well, up and coming artists, you guys should learn. And we know it's very difficult to get that huge amount of money, 52 million naira in this 2023. But one good thing about the entertainment industry, if you put in your best, you will make the money back. For a desk I said these days, love come hard to find. Is it me or are you all with me? Uh, but can you relate according to Timaya that love is very difficult to find these days? What do you have to say regarding that? The comments just come through for you. Yeah, still that that is Timaya does it today is the 28th, and in two days' time, we'll drive this album, we'll be dropping timeless. We can't wait for that album. See, we talked about the video recently, the video of this Puma match that the video of this is collection with Puma said to be released globally on April 7th. Hmm. And according to the video, he said he'll be meeting and greeting at the Puma stocks in New York and the United Kingdom. We can't wait for the video's out of time. We have really missed the video, all the music lovers out there. We've really missed the video. The video is a giant. Yeah, he's doing very well when it comes to Afrobeat. 
there's one good thing about the entertainment industry. That I, I love the way they help each other. We got this news from Desco Daniel Rice. You know, his song is number one now. From Desco Daniel Rice, he said, Whiskey post my song. My song go number one. You say, Make a note, thank him. When he posts your own and he enter number one, no thank him, I beg. <laughs> they will do follow me. He ginger in fans, make them hear the clan. You say, he no gets the impact. When they will do follow you, no happy. Do your own, I do my own. <laughs> that came for the desk of Declarize. Big ups and congratulations to Declarize. His song is number one on the uh, on the chart, as you can see. And number two, we have Patino they stop at the Kulep goal and Zinoleski, they won the just won an award for. And number three, we have Soweto featured Don Toliba by Victoni Rema and Tempo. Number four, we have Gogolada by BNXN. Feature Buju, Kiss Daniel, and Shinji Vibes. Number five, we have Stamina, the song by Tiwa Shavis, Ayasta, and Young John. Number six, we have Holiday by Rema. Number seven, we have Moto by Loje. Number eight, we have Soso by Omale. From this eight songs I just mentioned, which is your favorite? The comment is open for you all to drop your superb and wonderful comment. Now, still talking about the entertainers. We got this good news recently that's uh, one of the hottest artists. You know, there was this list that was released a few uh, weeks ago that Jesus is the best, that he's the greatest of all time when it comes to rap. So, netizens were not flowing with this. But what do you have to say, guys? That well, we have this good news that Jay-Z is now worth 2.5 billion US dollars. That is a huge one. And I actually saw this on DJ Khaled's page. You know, DJ Khaled loved promoting his friends. According to Jeka, he said, put me anywhere on God's green earth. I will triple my words. Hmm, that came from the desk of DJ Khaled. Wow, that's a huge one. Big goals and congratulations to Jay-Z. 2.5 billion. That is huge, huge, huge money. Well, let us dive into something else. Let us dive into something else. Let's talk about the movies. There's one movie that's trendy right now. It's top-notch. It's late. Late to the super late degree. A quick peek on Rotten Tomato shows. Chapter 4 boosting a 93% critical rating from 96 reviews at the time of writing. A new high for the John Wick film series. By the way, have you seen John Wick? Chapter 4. It's lit. It is legit. It is lit. For those that have seen it, man, that they've, they've never seen any action movie as tense as this. Have you seen it? That John Wick's Paul's Rotten Tomato scores, score rather, set a franchise record. By the way, have you seen your week one, two, three, and four? <laughs> Which is your favorite? I've seen one, two, three, and I've seen four. Man, it's late. For me, four is my now, favorite. Now, let's come back home to Nigeria. You know what's trending is politics, drama, here and there. Well, let us start with the video's uncle. We got this news that Ademola Adeleke has been reinstated as governor of Oso State by a court of appeal. That's a huge one. We know he, uh, there was this drama after the election. He won the election and um, they had to take the matter to court. But he, he uh, is now, he has now been declared the full governor of the state. Big ups and congratulations to Ademola Adeleke of the People Democratic Party. Still talking about the drama going on in the country recently, we got this match with Guinea Bissau. Nigerians were not happy. I'm, I mean, we have some of the best players. Yeah, we have players who have doing very well. I mean, like uh, Victor, you see, man. I mean, they were all there. And Guinea Bissau fluffed us 1 0. <sighs> they actually scored the match. They, 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 they are rather on the 29th minute. The goal was scored by um, Baldi, 29th minute. And Nigeria lost. And uh, we played home, not away. Ah! <laughs> I bet we will not start this year like this, and we know we really need to to qualify for the next um uh, for the next Afcon. From what you saw, from those that watch the match, do you think we'll be able to qualify for the next Afcon? Don't forget to drop our comments on the comment section. Now talking about politics that we change in the country for a desk of shows shining. <laughs> this guy is, is funny anyway. Let me read this tweet for you. He said after the buy votes, falsify figures, and rig elections, they will bring in religion to launder and legitimize their evil. I want you to believe that power is from God. Power derived from rig election is not from God. That came from the desk of Senator Shehu Sani. And we know stuff like this are happening. The country people will do all sorts of terrible things and they will go to the church and give thanks to God. Isn't that drama? 
Nigeria is a funny country. We're also talking about the election yesterday. There was this drama that happened in Abuja that APC supporters protest in Abuja to demand congratulatory message for President elect Tinubu. Bill to defend the mandates of the party's leader and President elect Bola Tinubu. The protesters said the failure or refusal to congratulate a new Nigerian leader could continue to fuel doubts over his mandate. Suleiman Eraji, one of the organizers who said he came in from Ilorin to attend the protest, said it was to condone or, or to condemn those who have been silenced because their action or inaction could put Mr. President, Mr. Tenibu's mandate in jeopardy. Drama, let the finish for this country, especially when it comes to politics. The comment section is open for you to drop a comment. And finally, I, I saw this news, I was really touched. Big and congratulations to the Ebony State Governor. I mean, he did very well. David Umahi, he did an impressive job that uh, President Buhari said to commission the Ebony State International Airport started and completed by Governor Dave Umahi. Impressive indeed. Congratulations to the Governor, he did very well. How many governors have done this in Nigeria? I mean, started and completed an airport in less than a decade. Congratulations, sir. You really deserve that. You really deserve that. Uh, uh, you really deserve that. Uh, message congratulatory message the conversation is open for you to drop your comments thank you guys for watching your best entertainment don't forget to subscribe to the bell icon so as to stay uploaded with all the trends about the new york and the new york see you soon and have a memorable day